Hello and welcome. Today I wanted to share with you how we can use and build an agents using language chain and almost any model that we want. I'm not going to use OpenAI models in this video. Honestly, the world doesn't revolve around OpenAI models. There is a lot of options out there that we can use and I'm going to show you Two examples of using it, one with open source, the mixer of expert and the other one with Gemini Pro. So let's go. I wanted to show you quickly how the logic language chain work for agent. It always start with a question and we have a prompt. Usually this prompt is from language chain itself, sometimes from the prompt hub. I'm going to use it also. Then the large language model do the reasoning for us. and it's parse the output does it contain the final answer which this is deciding what we'll do next if it does have a final answer then yes this is the output if not it will go back and keep going until it gives us the answer this is basically simplified how the agents sync and reason so starting with our code i have here installed LangChain and LangChain google Generative AI community, the language chain hub for Google uh, for Hugging Face Hub and Language Chain Core and Language Graph and Hugging Face Hub and Google Search Results. Both the environment variable here. And using Git Pass, I found it much better. When you click this button, it will open a box for each one. If it's not already there, it will open a box for you. And you put the key, and that's it. Using the Google Gemini, so head to AI Studio Google and get your API key because you're gonna need it. Then we have Serap API, which basically the search engine that we are using. If you don't have it, doesn't matter. Also, there is other option called Heavily AI, which another alternative you can use it for free for a while. I think it's have a also an API key you can get access to simply. You can just Log in with your GitHub or Google and you will get OBI key. Uh, you know, I made a simple example using Google Generative AI, which just Gemini Pro, and I give it the OBI key, set them short to zero, and I invoke it. I ask it a simple question What is some of the pro and the cones of Python as a programming language? And it here it's work as it intended. I'm just testing the water, no agents over here. Then we start here with creating an agent using Gemini it's a bit tricky it's not like the open source one if you head to language chain and type agent you will find that you can create agent easily using OpenAI but I don't know why they don't mention Gemini at all but doesn't matter I managed to create Gemini version here I started with importing the stuff we're going to use mostly from language chain then I created a new custom tools, the Devil Search ABI Warbar, which I just show you the search ABI that we're going to use, give it a description, set the tools and best tools to here. Tools is what allow large language model to do searching and syncing. It's really cool when you combine it with tools. It's the best thing that basically what make the agent agent is the tools. So basically here we're giving the Gemini access to the web. Here I set the language model, also temperature zero. I don't want it to basically have a different way of thinking or generating the answer, just the same one. Here I created a prompt with the user input and the message placeholder for the agent scratch pad. Here I bend the tools that I created with the large language model as language chain suggested, and then I create the agent over here. I get the input, the agent scratch pad, I have to transform the format that's coming to OpenAI. I pass the prompt, the tools, and finally the type that we are going to use for our agent. Then I create something called the agent executor. It takes the agent that we created over here, the tools, and you can set the verbose if you want to see how it works in the background, true or false. That's a lot. Honestly, it's a bit verbose, but this is the new way of creating agent. There is other way. I'm going to show you how you can create agent in a little bit simpler way. Here I invoke the agent executor, uh, an agent executor, and ask it who is the head of DeepMind. Here it started to sync and created a chain. This chain started by invoking the query that I have and send it 
to the 12 VA BI that we're using to basically search the web. When you come back, who is the head of the mind? It tell me from based of the research that it did, it's Mustafa Suleiman is the head of the mind. As you can see here, it's pretty basic in the background. It's like a rag I have created before that went to the web, go back with the answer and query this answer in basically format it nicely and give you only the answer. Here are other questions that I'm showing you that you can basically ask it anything as long as you have a tool for it. Where is the mind location? It started with the thought, it's thinking here. The mind is sub dairy of Alphabet Inc., formerly Google parent company, now called Alphabet, based in the United Kingdom. Action, here it, it actually started to invoke itself and it search. That's the action it will do. The action input, which the query is the mind location. It's here, it didn't give me the answer output immediately, but here, as you can see, it's doing alphabet and it tells us that it's in United Kingdom, but it doesn't tell us why. So sometimes it's not that good in terms of the answer. But yeah, this is basically how I run it with Gemini. Okay, we show how Gemini work. Let's take a look to Hugging Face. Hugging Face have a ton of models that we can use. I'm not downloading anyone this time, but I am using the Mixer 87B Instruct. Which is over here in Hugging Face if you wonder. If you want to access it, just copy this Rebo and put it in the Rebo ID over here. And I start giving it the tools that I'm gonna use, the share above ABI and the mass LMS, which is basically calculator for our agent. This is the older way of creating an agent, actually. This is multiple way of creating it. This is the older way. Initializing an agent. I give it the tools, the LM that I want, and what type of agent that I want. Agent have multiple types according to language chain. As you can see, there is agent type OpenAI tools, OpenAI function, the XML, structure chat, JSON chat, the React one, self ask with search. When to use it is based on the based on what you're trying to do. So it gives you an example here when to use it. Back to our code, here is the I'm using zero shot react description and I said the verb is true. So I wanted to see what's happening behind the scene basically. As you can see here, I access the template the behind the scene of what is happening in language chain agent. It tell it what to do. It start with answer the following question as best as you can. You access the following tools, which the tools that we give it, the search and the calculator and a tell it description of which one what it do basically and it tell it to use it in a form following format is a question that you will get then you will do an action then you will use the tools of in the actions and then observation which basically thinking and after that you will thought and the final answer is the ending output you see it in action actually here agent invoke which basically have to use it hi how are you today it's a simple action Start with this question asking about the current state of the AI. So it's analyze what is this question. So I don't need to use any tools to answer it. Here it's deciding when to use the tools or or where not to use these tools. The final answer, I'm an AI, I don't have feelings, but I am functioning as expected. How can I assist you today? So ask it another question, who is the United States president? What is current age? Race divided by two. It started here by, as you can see, some multiple steps to the final answer. I need to find who is the current president of the United States, which is the first part of the query. The second thing you do is searching. Search input. Basically, the query of the search is United States president age, 28 years old. I know as a new president age, I need to divide it by two. So this is a thought in the template. Then the action to use the calculator. And the input is dividing the age on two, and the answer is 40. This guy is old, honestly. I know, I now know the final answer. So, right now, the final thought is know the final answer, and it gave us the final answer. So, this is really cool. This is really, really cool. It's have a sheer of thinking and using tools, observation, and action, and this. And it know when it reached the final tools. Here I ask it the same actually questions. Where is the mind office? Which I ask it 
over here or Gemini. Here it do the same thing, but the agent is working better. I don't know the answer to this question of hand, so I should search for it. So it already know that it have to search for it because it doesn't have the information. Action search, the input of the search, the mind of its location. King's Cross, London. I thought I knew the final answer, the final answer, deep mind of his location in King Cross, London. And there is one also, this example is very funny because it here kind of corrected itself and give me another answer. Even you can see in the sync insult, there is two different answer. I told it what is AGI. Here it thinking, I don't know what AGI is off the top of my head. So I should look at up, basically search. The inputs of search, the AGI. It get observation or basically an answer. Your adjusted gross income, AGI. Yeah, that's kind of sim. Is your total gross income from all the source minus certain adjustment, blah, blah, blah. That's not what I was looking for. So it's not already, that's not what I'm looking for. AGI must have a different meaning. In the context of artificial intelligence, let me try it again. So this is incredible. It already knew that the correct answer is not that one. Then it go and search once more and get us the agent artificial intelligent air observation. Get this. It also get the link of the answer from Nvidia article. I think seeing that AGI stands for artificial intelligent. So the final answer is artificial intelligent AGI. I really like what's going on here with the whole agent of language chain. I wanted to make this quick video to share with you how you can use this and you can do more with it. You can add a ton of tools here. We have a lot of tools that you can use with language chain. You can come to the language chain documentation integration tools. You can find a lot of stuff. You can use YouTube with it, Yahoo, Wikipedia, SQL. I already created the SQL language chain and uh, database how we connect a large language models database and there is was one tool i think it's got removed called terminal it was allowing you to access the folder structure and see what's inside it i'm not sure where it went but i will search for it and maybe make a video about how we can use terminal to manipulate folders using large language models also i found uh, this article about hugging face using the Lang Chain with the open source model, but the code doesn't work. So don't bother running it up. Use the code that they give you, it worked correctly. For some reason, this one or results error. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed and learned something new. And I am gonna make more videos about language chain in the future, both language chain of Python and JavaScript version. So if you like this video, please hit like, subscribe and the notification button, it helped my channel a lot. Thank you, and see you in the next one.